Hi, it's our really profound honor to welcome you to this year's Veterans Day Assembly. I'm Chris Gavin, the principal, and this is Barbara Bolaños, my friend and vice principal here at the school. It is such an honored tradition for St. Pat's to have the Veterans Day Assembly. And although we have to be separated, uh, it is still really important for us to stop as a school community, as a nation, and thank our veterans for their service, whether that is in direct service to their country as a, as a soldier, or for the families that have sacrificed so much as their loved ones have served our country. So thank you for joining us. We look forward to celebrating this day with you. It's a shorter program, it's a different program, but it still has the same feeling that we want to stop and say thank you. So thank you for being with us today. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. You are a creator and our light. You are our wisdom and our strength. Lord, you have inspired many of our best and brightest to volunteer to proudly stand and defend our country. You have given us brave and loyal men and women who have faithfully served in our military. We gather today to remember and honor our veterans. We acknowledge that their service enables us to be a free people. We are, we are reminded that it is due to their service that we live in safety. Lord, we also remember those who are currently serving. We ask that you provide them with your protection, your strength, and your peace. We ask that you protect their families from hurt and harm. We pray that each of our veterans feel honored not just today, but every day. Father, we also pray in a special way for our injured veterans. We realize that many deal with wounds that occurred as a result of their military service. We ask that they feel the healing presence of your love and the compassion of a grateful nation. And lastly, we thank you, Lord, oh Lord God, for nothing is possible without you. We thank you for calling these courageous people to their service. We thank you, Lord, for our freedom and for the women and men who have so bravely protected and defended it and continue to do so. We pray, we pray these things, as always, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Hi, I'm Dawson, your ASB president. Welcome to our Veterans Day ceremony to honor all military veterans. We want to welcome all of our St. Patrick's School students, faculty, staff, parents, parishioners, our extended St. Patrick community of veterans. Thank you for joining our virtual Veterans Day Assembly. We gather today to remember our veterans to honor all of those who have served in defense of our nation. This remembrance began in 1919 as a commemoration of Armistice Day, marking the end of World War I. Originally established to honor the memory of the veterans who gave their lives during World War I, Armistice Day became Veterans Day by an act of Congress in 1954 to celebrate all veterans who served our nation. Today, we recognize those who have served and represented our country in uniform, uniform in times of war and in times of peace. These veterans joined the armed ser services in the U.S. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, and Merchant Marines. Today, all of us in St. Patrick School community honor them. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello everyone, my name is Calvin Mayer and I graduated from St. Pat's Catholic School in 2013. Following that, I went to Bellarmine Preparatory School where I graduated in 2017. If there's one thing I learned from going to St. Pat's and Bellarmine is that we as Christians are called to love one another and to serve one another. Because of that, I decided to join the Central Washington University Army ROTC program my freshman year of college. I'm now a senior at Central Washington University and I will commission this spring after graduation as an active duty second lieutenant in the United States Army. 
I hope to join the military intelligence branch of the U.S. Army following graduation. Army ROTC has given me a lot of awesome training opportunities and just chances to develop myself as a leader. I have flown in Black Hawk helicopters, I've done weekend trainings in Yakima and JBLM, and I've trained with Special Operations Forces. Um, throughout my time at Central Washington University in Army ROTC, uh, I've learned the true meaning of the importance of Veterans Day. You know, when I was a kid, just like you guys are right now at St. Pat's, I didn't fully understand the importance of Veterans Day. I knew that we had a democracy and that people decided to serve in our military to defend us and keep our principles in place. But after being trained in Army ROTC, I definitely appreciate Veterans Day much more. Veterans Day is a day to thank those that have served because they have decided to possibly give up their life for our community, our country, their family, and our principles. So I just wanted to say happy Veterans Day and go Shamrocks. Hey Shamrocks, this is Hannah Lovejoy. I'm St. Pat's class of 2012 and I'm recording this in Pensacola, Florida, where I'm currently in flight school to become a Naval Flight Officer. And I just wanted to recognize all of the veterans whether you're in the gym watching this live or if you're watching it from your home, anywhere across the country or around the globe. And I want to thank you for your service and say that it is an honor and a pleasure to be following in your footsteps. So from here in Pensacola all the way to Tacoma and wherever else anyone is, I want to say happy Veterans Day and go Shamrocks. Good morning, St. Pat's. I'm Lieutenant Joe Lovejoy, class of 2008. Uh, currently the navigator on board USS Manchester here in San Diego. I uh, just want to say thanks to all the veterans, both near and far, in attendance or around the world. Um, it's a really special thing to be an American, and we all know that. And I just want to say that we're together everywhere. So go Shamrock. Hello everyone, my name is Anya Shida and I'm a 2016 graduate from St. Patrick's School. Currently, I'm a fourth class cadet or a freshman here at the United States Air Force Academy. Something a little bit about myself is that I'm a gymnast here on the women's gymnastics team and that I'm hoping to major in civil engineering. One of my favorite things about St. Pat's is definitely the community. I made so many friends in middle school that I still stay connected with um, to this day. And the teachers and staff that work at St. Pat's are some of the best around, and I'm so thankful for everything that they did for me that ultimately helped me get to where I am today. I decided to come to the Air Force Academy not just for the amazing education and athletics that they provide, but because it gave me the opportunity to serve and be a part of something much bigger than myself. Being a cadet in the Air Force Academy has given me a new perspective in pride for our country and what the military men and women have sacrificed and are willing to sacrifice for us. For this upcoming Veterans Day, I would like to take this time to thank all those who have served before me and gave their all so that we can continue to live in a free nation. Our veterans are willing to stand up for what they believe in so you and I can give back to our country and communities in the hopes that all can live freely and accomplish their dreams. Please take this time this Veterans Day to think of everything that you have and are grateful for, just because others were willing and are willing to be there for you. Thank you so much for this opportunity to talk to you this Veterans Day. Go Falcons and St. Patrick, pray for us. Bye guys. The Armed Forces Medley, also known as the Armed Forces Salute, is a collection of the official songs of the services of the United States Armed Forces. The newly established United States Space Force has yet to adopt an official song. The medley, as it is now, was first performed in public during the first National Memorial Day concert in 1990 on the West Lawn of the United States Capitol Building in Washington, D.C. Since then, the medley has become a common fixture in many band and orchestra con concerts within the United States as a way to honor the active servicemen and women, reservists and veterans of the Armed Forces and the National Guard Bureau. For several years now, it has become part of our Veterans Day tradition. Please enjoy this salute to our various armed services branches.
Hello everybody, my name is Father David Mulholland, I'm the pastor here at St. Patrick Parish and School. And in anticipation of our Veterans Day celebration, I want to take an opportunity to share with you a little story about uh, how important veterans are and it came to me just a couple of weeks ago. We had an opportunity to have the funeral services for the oldest parishioner at Holy Cross, Ned Vukovic. He was 103 years old and he passed away and we had the burial ceremony at the cemetery and before we began, we had an honor guard. And we had an honor guard because Ned served in World War II in the United States Coast Guard. And that was near and dear to my own heart because my father served in the Coast Guard in World War II. I don't think they knew each other, but they both served in the Pacific during the war. And it was really wonderful to honor Ned by having a Coast Guard honor guard who held the flag and displayed the flag over the casket, who folded the flag and then gave it to Ned's family in honor for his service and sacrifice in World War II. And that's really what we do when we honor veterans on Veterans Day. We are honoring the service and sacrifice of men and women who have given a portion of their lives, given it up so that they could serve to protect us, not only in wartime, but also in peacetime as well, because there are men and women all over the world representing the United States and keeping us and helping us to be secure and at peace. So that's what we do on Veterans Day. We honor them and we honor all of those who have served in the past to help us maintain our liberties and our freedom to live as we do as free people. My friends, let us pray God's blessing down upon all of our veterans wherever they might be at this time. Almighty God and Father, we come before you with gratitude and thanksgiving for all the men and women who have served our country in the armed forces. We are thankful for them, for all that they have done to preserve our liberty and our freedom. And we ask God to bless them all. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what's so bright?